We have no border. We have no control. People are flooding across. We need to build a wall, and it has to be built quickly. And in that wall, we're going to have a beautiful, big, fat door where people can come into the country, but they have to come in legally. Toxic fans are ruining entertainment. Of course, Trump supporters are halting George R.R. R. Martin from completing his Game of Thrones series. This has to be the most incredible excuse from George R.R. R. Martin yet, where he's blaming the toxic fan reaction to a lot of things in society when it comes to Star Wars, when it comes to Lord of the Rings of Power, and many more projects that have had their rights purchased by Hollywood and their overall image squandered because of the mismanagement of those properties. You see this with with Lucasfilm and all the Star Wars properties that, that have come out recently, that have been berated by the fans, that have been incessantly criticized for their lack of progression of the stories within the Star Wars universe. You see this happening with the Marvel Universe that has dropped in massive quality since the Endgame Avengers movies that have completed. And you see this with every single franchise that's under Hollywood's control recently. You see this with Indiana Jones and its terrible releases. You see this with the DC Cinematic Universe that has come out with bomb after bomb you see this with every single D, D project that has come out and it has failed dungeons and dragons used to be a popular franchise now it's something that's looked down upon because of some of the the creative changes that happen with the overall tabletop game and you see this occurring with game of thrones and people going with the backlash that happened with the season 8 finale and i think this is the thing that is frustrating to george rr R. martin is that some of his ideas that he implemented in the final season season of Game of Thrones didn't work out in the way he thought it would. I think the implementation may have some cause to, to affect that, but I think the ideas that we saw in the, the final season influenced his overall reaction to the people and maybe influenced his writing, but he came out with a blog, George R. R. Martin, refuting that, saying he's not finishing the book because he's tired of these toxic fans criticizing material and entertainment. He's wondering why people are not just happy and consuming whatever they get, no matter how terrible it is and it's kind of a, a thought process that we see in hollywood often nowadays where people are just saying just consume what we made don't criticize it don't talk about it just like what we put out there and don't complain just accept it and i think that's not something that's been happening in fandom for a long time i think if you come out with trash material people are going to criticize it to no end and i think nowadays we just have a, a overall excessive amount of trash writing and material that's coming out from these big franchises that includes Game of Thrones, I think for Dance of Dragons. I don't think that was a good book. His last book in 2011. So I think that criticism from that book and I guess the overall criticism of uh, the final seasons of Game of Thrones is getting to him. And I think that thought process of just releasing something and getting criticized for it is even more intense with social media attention now because you're going to see all the criticism. It's not going to be something someone says at a bookstore or a book club or just with friends at dinner. No, you're going to see it on social media. You can search for it and you're going to be hit and harmed by those words of criticism. I think this is just uh, the world we live in now in social media. All criticism is visible and you can't run away from it. And I think that is a thing that is frightening a lot of people nowadays. You can see people hate your work. And I think that is uh, the, the chilling effect to all writers and to all creative people. And I think you have to get used to it. You got to get used to the criticism now. All thoughts are exposed on the internet. At least the thoughts that want to be revealed and I think criticisms of creative work are at the forefront of those thoughts because it is something that we're there for entertainment if it doesn't entertain us we're gonna criticize it and I think Game of Thrones came in line with that time where criticism was viewed widely and openly on Twitter on Instagram for the final few seasons of the show and I think him having that cri open criticism directly affect him he didn't have to go to journalisms or magazines to read catered reviews that may please his his overall mindset because the publishing company is influencing the journals and review magazines that come out with these authored reviews and I think that system is breaking down down and no one pays attention to that anymore and social media is the driver and it can't be controlled by publishers social media so he's going to see real criticism of his work and i think that's what people in hollywood are sensitive to nowadays i think that's what happens with uh, lucas film is seeing all the real criticisms of their 
poorly constructed Star Wars universe, so they blame the toxicity of the fans for that, when in actuality, it's the creative bankruptcy of the actual people in charge at Lucasfilm. It's the creative bankruptcy of the people at Marvel. It's the creative bankruptcy of the people at DC that is changing things in the worst for the fans, where the fans are coming at you and they're coming at you aggressively pointing out your faults. And I think if you want an example of this where it works out, just look at what happened with Sonic 1 when it came out with its terrible visual images of Sonic and the fans ridiculed it to no end. And what happened to the studio that actually heard the fans criticism, they changed everything up and now the fans were pleased with what they saw and now you have a, a franchise that's grossing over a billion dollars and people are excited for the third sequel to come out. If you listen to the fans, you get results. And I think this is a missed opportunity for people in Hollywood, for people like George R.R. R. Martin, where you can listen to the fans and alter things. You have a, a feedback from the people and a reaction, a real reaction to what you do, and you can improve anything that you're working on. But these old authors, they're not used to this uh, direct criticism, so they're afraid of it, and, and they run from it, and they don't want to improve anything that they're working on. They just dig in their heels, and I think we see that with George R. R. Martin here. He's scared to release anything. He's even blaming Trump supporters, which doesn't make any sense at all when you think about it, because his last book came out in 2011. Trump was in office in 2016 to 2020, and he's blaming him for not writing a book. He's saying the world's too crazy and chaotic for him to actually focus on what's going on. He's saying there's wars happening. He's saying there's immigration policies that he disagrees with. I'm like, you could just come up with every excuse in the book. This has nothing to do with Trump either. He's not even in office right now. What are you talking about? And I, that pressure is just building, and he's just afraid to finish the book because he wrote himself into a corner. He's, he's scared that he'll come up with a, a result the fans will hate, and he's scared of the open, real criticism that his publishing company can't control. So I think it's just a loss of control over the voices of criticism that is getting to these authors, and I think they're scared to write. And he can't be scared of the fans nowadays. I think you have to put out your work and you have to listen to them. If they dislike your work, you're going to be criticized and you have to accept that forward-facing feedback loop that is unhindered by publisher control. And I think that is his whole article here. It just seems like an old man trying to get out of uh, writing something that he doesn't know what to do. It's a long blog, but I explained the key points already. He's, he's just pointing to what's happening in society. is just distracting him. He's it's so much serious issues. And he just goes on a rant about how Trump is evil. I'm like, okay, you're just scared of writing a book. Just admit that you're scared scared and we'll accept that and we'll go okay the author became scared he didn't know what to do anymore and he gave up on the book and because that is the reality of the situation with George R. R. Martin. He became scared and he gave up on the Game of Thrones book. Kind of like what happened with the, the end of the, the final season. Everyone became scared because they wanted to stick the landing and they did not do that. And unfortunately that's the case. Even though I probably enjoyed the, the finale, I see its faults, but I accept everything that actually happened. I think it was pretty good. But I understand everyone else's complaints is very valid. It wasn't as clean and smooth as it could be. But you got to get used to the criticism and that's just the way the social media world is constructed nowadays. But you tell me what you think about the situation. Do you think George R.R. R. Martin is right? Do you think toxic fans are ruining entertainment? I highly doubt that. I think it's improving entertainment. Just look at Sonic. It improved the overall franchise and it's making the studios millions of dollars. So I think this is a missed opportunity from Hollywood to actually improve itself. But you tell me, what do you think about the situation? Like, share, and subscribe. This is Wagner Knows Why. Catch you next time.